Okay, two self-collected rocks. The white is calcite. This one actually has some pyrite exposed on both edges. So high hopes for this rock. Pyrite, maybe something else in there. Be nice to see. This one, you can see the green, which I think was epidote, and just a little shelf right here of pyrite and some kind of black mineral. Not quite sure what it is. But I'd like to see what's inside. How about you? So in this um, bucket, what I've got is the cheapest vinegar that I could find. And all I'm going to do is put them in. The vinegar is probably 5% acid. And uh, leave them there for perhaps a week. You can see they're not even bubbling, they're not doing anything. But it'll take some time. I'll be patient. And let's see how well these the, the calcite dissolves and what perhaps might be exposed on the inside. So, see you in a week. Okay, so this is day two. I'm gonna refresh the uh, fluids again, put more vinegar in. This one, I'm not really seeing crystals that are stuck to the rock yet so it might be a little bit of a disappointment there's a little chain of crystals coming down here but I think those will fall off as the calcite is removed now this one is kinda cool the pyrites are starting to be exposed and it looks kinda like the jewels on a belly dancer at least that's my impression the other side Oops, there we go. It's pretty good too. So, we'll put this back in and see what happens. Actually, just showing this side here, it does have some exposed, one little tooth up in here, but it was better over here. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's the first rock. I think it turned out kind of neat. Let me get it in the sun. With the green, almost like a little forest there of crystals. And then the black, with the calcite in here, and just a tiny little bit of barite inside. Isn't that cool? I if I can focus a bit better. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll take some snaps of it. And then, there's the other side of the rock. Nice uh, delinea delineation between the green and the black. With more barite up in here, if you can see. Well, no, right up in here. All right, let's look at the other rock. Well, if you like pyrite, this rock turned out kind of neat. Now, in the... Let's see, I'm losing pieces as I touch it. In the dissolving of the rock, I actually lost quite a bit of pyrite that just fell off. But I retained enough in this sample that I'm pretty happy with it. Now, one piece, this big one up here, fell off and I just stuck it back on. I didn't want to lose it. Um, other than that, I think this turned out kind of neat. What do you think? Anyway, thank you for watching.